Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. Today, I'm gonna to take you on a journey of inspiration. Welcome everybody. Today, I'm gonna to share with you my fiber journey into making art yarn. But the key that I wanna share with you, and I know you are all creative artists, but is that still being open to the unknown and letting that spark come in and maybe taking you on a creative journey that you would have never thought about. And that's what happened to me and that's why I'm sharing that with you today. I had a whole lot of fun and maybe you can just take part in the joy of that fun. It all started over a cup of coffee and Instagram and I saw the most beautiful art yarn there and immediately my wheels started clicking. So I contacted the artist who is Sheremy and her business is called My Mother's Daughter Handspun. So for those of you that watch the show, you know how I traveled to Sedona, Arizona and then visited her in Prescott Valley, learned about her and her business and her art yarn. That was really fun to experience and then share with all of you. But it went one step further. The spark got started in my brain. And maybe you know what I'm talking about, where then the wheels start turning and they don't stop until it comes out of your hands. And so I have felt grateful to share me every step of the way, because first of all, she was very responsive to every interaction and then to meeting and sharing so much and then sending me home with a mindful of creative flow and just thinking and ready to get this going. So what I wanna share with you today is the journey through my making the art yarn, but overlying that is you being open to whatever may come your way that starts you on a new or different path. And just be looking for it. I guess that's all I can say. And I know you're creative artists, but when you're open, you may go down a different road for a little bit, like I did. So in my time since I've been home from Sedona, I have been going and looking for the treasures because she fills her art yarn with treasures. And so that's what I've been doing. I've been having fun at Goodwill, estate sales, you name it, looking for treasures to go into the art yarn. So that alone was fun. Then gathering the different fibers, and then putting it all together. So as you see here, and then working on the spin, and then the ply. And then finishing it out with an art yarn that I am very, very happy with, and learning along the way the things that I wanna do different next time. So what a gift she has given to me and maybe to you guys. If you wanna see what Sheremy does, you can check her out at her website, which is mymothersdaughterhandspun.com. And she also has videos on YouTube, My Mother's Daughter. So I wanna share with you a quote that I look at every now and then. You cannot use up creativity. The more you have, the more you use. And it was Maya Angelou who said that. And it's so true. So what I hope for you today is that you are open to the spark that may start you on a new adventure in anything. And if you have something you can share with others and put in them the inspiration to maybe try something new. Just wanted to let you know that some fun plans are in the works. Uh, you may have heard me mention Jane from Fiber Art Gallery. That is how this all got started. My local yarn shop that was just down the road and I sat there every week with the ladies and I listened and I learned. And Jane is the owner of the yarn shop. She also gave me great tips and advice on weaving. She is a master weaver. So a couple of years ago, she moved her yarn shop to Inverness, Florida, which is a gorgeous historic town in central Florida, just a bit north of Tampa. And we are going to go there later this month and shoot a show so that you can meet Jane see her yarn store and see the beautiful town of Inverness. So I look forward to that and sharing it with you. If you're sitting there going, huh, 
what's the shirt that Sheree is wearing? I'm going to tell you about it. If you did not see the episode a couple of episodes ago, this is the Dingley Dell by Isabel Kramer. She is one of my favorite designers. Her items are classic. There are things you could really wear a lot, yet there is beautiful detail. There is some beautiful detail in each one that makes it extra special. This one, I just love short sleeve V-neck shirts and it's perfect for me. And the yarn is from Sonoran Desert Dyed Fiber. So the, what I see is bluish gray is from Black Bean and the green is the Palo Verde plant. I have to touch on Patreon because that is how the show continues to keep going. If you're enjoying it, I invite you to join and give just a little bit each month. The cost of a cup of coffee, three, five dollars per month. And it just helps me with everything. And so that I can continue to share the fiber art world with the rest of the world. So you can find that on my website, rehashfiber.com. And there's also merchandise there. You can buy anything, a mug, uh, a shirt, anything. So I thank you in advance for your support. I hope for you that you find or are enjoying inspiration in something. And I have to say, because I was busy spinning, happy spinning and thanks for watching.